Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back. And uh, I want to wish you guys a happy new year. Um, it's actually a little after 2 o'clock here in the east coast of America. A little roadie. And um, I know everybody else is celebrating it. So I haven't got there yet. I got my coffee. And, uh, you know, I'm still working on things. But I wanted to touch base on something that I found out today that I want to pass off to you guys, okay? Um, be careful when you buy your speed controllers. Um, this is something, just, it was a weird thing that I found out. Um, I actually fried my step downs for my glow plugs. And we'll get to that in a minute. So grab your favorite beverage, popcorn, or, or maybe that hair of the dog I bit you from last night there for all my friends that already celebrated New Year's Eve this morning. So here we go, guys. Okay, we're back. So, what I was talking about when I opened the video up was how you choose a speed controller. Um, now, normally, all through the years, the speed controller has always been, you know, positive is positive, negative is negative. However, <clears throat> as we get these things built in China, okay, everything is made in China, somewhere, yeah, okay, so you're going to see this here made in China well here's the problem with the universal um, language we have um, Chinese writing writes differently than our writing does okay so there's a lot of countries out there where everything is kind of backwards to what we do in our Western world okay the Eastern world is totally different so here's what I found out so I bought these two speed controllers, two of them, I bought two of these, for the simple person, because they had your on and off switch, they had LiPo capabilities, um, you know, of course you got your, your motor wires here, positive and negative, and this here goes to your radio, whichever channel you want to use to start your, um, your starter motor and your step downs for your glow plugs. Well, here's the problem that I ran into. When you're going to see here, you're going to see these two little red blocks here. Okay, you can switch them to have a no reverse. And I'm going to try to focus in on that right there. And you're going to see that they have a lipo and they have a nickel metal hydrate setting. So you can switch these little things around. So I thought, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get these because I like using LiPos to, um, especially the small ones, the tiny ones, you know what I mean? Um, to run everything, all the components here, radio, you know, servos, igniters, starter motor, everything, you know, it's got to be like, you know, everything's got to be cool, you know. But what I found out was when I first plugged this in and... Uh, <laughs> I was a little stunned because the step downs that they sell us with the uh, the little auto engine here, they have no reverse voltage capabilities at all, none. And actually, the ones that I have here that I bought here, I bought like I buy these like seriously fifty at a time because they're only a buck a piece. And um, I always use these as a step down, a voltage step down. You can set your voltage just by soldering in what voltage you want. They go from one point, actually one volt, um, if you don't solder any bridges across this, they go from one and a half to, I think, five. And um, so I like using these for my glow plugs, you know. So what I found out was when I hooked this thing up here and it blew out both of my igniters and you're going to see here, you're going to see that big chip gone right there. It just popped, but boom, done, out of here, over with, dead. And I was like, huh, that's weird. Like when you hook red to red and black to black, that should be 
red to red. Red is positive and black is negative, right? And apparently these um, speed controllers, it's reversed, okay? So when you're thinking you're going to give it all the power, okay, and you put it in a forward position, it's a negative, it reverses the polarity here, which it's okay for a starter motor because you just switch the wires. But when you actually hook up your igniters to them, these don't play well with um, reverse polarity. They, they pop, you know, like I showed you before. So that's junk. So I went through several speed controllers that I had. Um, my RC four-wheel drive one here with a battery illuminator circuit, which is only a NICAD only. There's no LiPo um, cutoff on this thing. The reason I like to run the LiPo cutoff is because LiPo dumps voltage and cranks it out there. So you got a good start. You got a good feed for your igniters here. And um, when they reverse the polarity, the problem is you have to reverse the wires to the motor, which really kind of like messes up your igniters, your step downs. And uh, so I figured it out today. I mean, I had, I've been working on this thing and I had to laugh because my son, you know, God bless his soul. He likes to stop by and check out on the old man, you know. And um, every time he comes, I got a new project on the table. Well, for some reason, this project has been here since Thanksgiving, and I've been trying to figure out why. You know, it's like, you know, I thought maybe it was me, you know. And, uh, but it's, no, it wasn't. You need to get one of these right here, a little voltage checker. Make sure you're, and keep it positive to positive and negative to negative until you get to your igniters or your step downs because these do not like to be reverse polarity because they blow out so you could switch the wires at the motor which isn't a big deal let me move this out of the way here um you can switch these over but i mean seriously guys i mean like i've been a month Trying to figure out why this was not working and um, then I realized the RC four-wheel drive positive is red negative is black okay and uh, which is not a big deal until you come to your step downs if you reverse that voltage there with your starter motor it's gonna pop gonna blow out your your glow plug igniters okay so I went through like four of these uh, glow plug igniters here that I that I bought just to test this thing to see what the hell is going on because like you know it's driving me crazy and um, so now we have a, a separation of church and state I guess you want to call it so this thing here has to be um, it has lipo capabilities, but it's got a Tamiya plug. You can't use a NICAD, which I'd like to do because they have no, these things can drain right down to nothing. But, um, you know, Ni NICADs are, are saveable. You can recharge them. Lipos, once they go beyond that lower voltage, like what was it, three volts, they're done. They're garbage, you know. They're garbage. So, the reason I chose this was because I thought maybe that I was on to something. But you know what? Every man must learn and he must pass off that information um, to everybody that he teaches. And that's what I want to do here tonight. So I figured it out. Um, I couldn't get this thing started at all. I mean, I've had this thing running and I've had a good time with it. And once I decided to separate the batteries and wire it all into one, okay, now these here are my starter motor wires, and um, they go into my uh, my voltage, um, you know, regulators here for my glow plugs, but it comes off a speed control that actually that I had to find 
Um, this is from the Vatera Twin Hammers, okay? I mean, how old is that speed control? I had to dig one out because I didn't think it was going to work anymore, you know? But it's a LiPo. It shuts off early. Um, it's not capable of 11.1 .1 volts at all. It only do 7.4. So I had a challenge to work with here um, because I was counting on these being good. But it is what it is, so... Those are going in my junk box, and um, um, but I um, I did figure it out today. I got this thing running, and it's like so I'm happy now. So hallelujah! It's so like a, a month, seriously, a month because of a negative reversed polarity in a speed controller. These work okay when you got a brush motor and you're you're electric. That's cool. But when you're trying to wire them up directly to your igniters for your glow plugs and your starter motor, now you got a problem. Houston, we have a problem. So, anyways, guys, I want to wish everybody a happy new year, okay? Um, it's been a rough month for me. Um, it's a time of year when you, you know, you deal with things, and, and I know a lot of you guys have too, and, uh, it is what it is so and uh and fortunately it's like 56 degrees today up here in a little roadie and uh so i'm gonna get out there and work on my old uh military blazer right you know k10516 truck v cucv uh, blazer and uh get it ready for winter you gotta throw a couple of patch panels on it show a little love you know fix the gas tank uh uh, doesn't read no more and uh, But I only use that to go back and forth to work. So I ain't scared but Anyways, happy new year Love to all like share subscribe if you want and guess what I'll catch you later You know and we'll come up with a, a running solution for this hopefully on the next video so anyways guys I'm out happy new year I wish the best for everybody in 2023 because, like, we paid our dues the last few years. And speaking of paying dues, um, be patient with China um, on their shipping. Um, they have, um, it's complicated. Um, I know, like, I suggest things that you guys buy. Um, you buy them and then they don't get shipped for months. Um, the reason is because... In China right now, they've lifted all the COVID restrictions. So they're not shutting any factories down because the country is uh, kind of hurting. You know what I mean? So um, they need revenue. And uh, the revenues came in, but they got to get their, you know, keep their names good. So it's been a, um, it's been a tag team email back and forth from me and China. And, um, Here's, here's what's going on. I'll give you the straight poop. Um, they are still, they're, what they're doing, in my opinion, is letting the COVID run rampant. Um, um, they have vaccines over there. Um, they don't have some technologies to give a good vaccine, so it works for some, not others. Um, I just found out that the whole Toyin engine team is down with COVID. So, I mean, I'm waiting for rods for my V8. Um, it ain't going to happen for a while. So I understand that, you know, because they have family um, and friends. And if they're married, they have their kids, their wife. And a lot of those people there live together with their parents and grandparents. Um, they're, they're a very close community. And when everybody's sick, nothing happens, okay? So... Just be cool about that. Um, it may take another month or so for this to run its course there. And um, I know some of them are really excited to, um, you know, get back on track. And, you know, because this is their opportunity to show the world who they are. And um, we didn't expect COVID to come in there and, like, smash everything down. But, um, you know, they still, they're still trying, so give them, you know, give them the benefit of the doubt there, so. All right, guys, I'm out. Happy New Year. 
I'm going to hit some tequila tonight because I think I need that after all this electrical engineering problems. I'm a mechanical engineer, not an electrical, so it's you know it's a, it's a challenge for me too. So, but I will never lie to you guys, and I'll, if I make a mistake, you know what? You know I screwed up. So, anyways, guys, love to all. I'm out. Later. Happy New Year.